become head coaches in the NFL because NFL owners hire who they want. And that's pretty much white men. Comes a time when you want to be a boss, create your own company. Now we all know Steve Wilkes got a, a raw deal in Carolina. That team was one and four, and he almost ended up winning the division, getting the playoff spot. The Carolina Panthers wanted to go with Frank Wright. Okay, that's cool. That's what they wanted to do. I'm over the whole Rooney rule, which is bull junk anyway. It's fake. Corporations hire their own. Mostly their own. You'll have one or two minority head coaches here and there, but got, if you want to be a ball screen, your own company. Point blank. But in football, it's never going to change. Can't make NFL owners do anything. So now there'll probably be a lawsuit or an investigation. But the Rooney Rule was a joke, and it is what it is. I'm good with that. I don't sit around begging for nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just can't do it. Steve Wilkes was coach of Arizona, what, one year? In 2018? Then they got rid of him. Did a great job with the Panthers. Less than one year, they got rid of him. It is what it is. They ain't messing with him like that as a head coach. If Steve Wilkes really wants to be a head coach, try to get an HBCU job. You know, work for your own, work for your own kind. But begging the NFL, crying, pleading, they don't want you as a head coach. Point blank. Same thing applies to these corporations. For the most part, the people at the top are gonna to be white people. They hire their own and run their companies. I mean, get over it. Everybody know what's going on. Everybody. But if you want to be a head coach, HBCU is hiring. Other than that, I don't have nothing to say. Nothing. I'm going to go ahead and go to work, put my eight hours in, do what I got to do, come back home, have some dinner with the wife, relax, shoot, plan my next vacation. But yeah, we got to stop begging for stuff. It's not a good look. We can fight for certain things, but NFL head coaches, I'm just getting tired of the whole process. I see that Mike Zimmer is gonna have a role on Deion Sanders' staff. Willie Tack is gonna have a role on Deion Sanders' staff. Some assistant coach position. So Colorado got a star studded coaching staff to go with star studded players. Can't wait to see what they do in 2023. See if they can get four or five wins.